Now on four, the Stanfast Security Shelter comes in useful for the unrepeatable Who Dares Wins. We live in dangerous times, very dangerous times, when we may have as little as four minutes warning. Paul! Michelle! Michelle, where are you? Paul, quickly! Matt! Matt! Come on, Come on quickly! Are you prepared? Stand fast. The high security shelter. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Anybody at home? We bring joyous news. Of our Lord Jesus. <laughs> Stand fast. The only sure protection against Jehovah's Witnesses. <laughs> <laughs> it was a lovely meal. You're a clever old stick. <laughs> Delicious. <laughs> well, Robert, would you like a brandy? Uh, Roger! Father, he's called Roger. Uh, terribly sorry, old boy. I'm <laughs> uh, not to worry, Mrs Sinclair. Yes, I'd love a brandy, thank you. Uh, Mummy, Daddy, um, R Roger and I have... I've, I've got something to tell you. Oh, I knew there was more to this evening than just dinner. <laughs> All right, you two lovebirds, out with it. Roger. Uh, well, yes, um, right. Uh, yes. Uh, M Mrs Sinclair, Mrs Sinclair, um, well, Sarah and I have been going out for some time now. Two years and three months, actually. Oh, come on, Roger, we're all a go. <laughs> oh, well, it, all, it all sounds so formal like this. Um, Mr Sinclair, um, I was wondering if I could, with your permission, of course, um, I was wondering if I could poke your daughter. <laughs> You want to poke my daughter? Oh, we're, we're both dying for it. Well, Daddy, we've got to. Tell me, Robert, what exactly do you do for a living? Roger. Oh, I see, he does it for a living. <laughs> please, Mummy, please say yes. Things can be pretty bloody tough for young people nowadays. Oh, Daddy, we know, we All know. Right. All right, darling. So how are you going to support yourself? I thought I'd use my elbows. <laughs> I assure you, Mr Sinclair, I mean, it would only be a quick jump. I mean, I wouldn't hang around afterwards cuddling and telling lies. And it would be a, a very quiet do, I mean, just the two of us. Well, I think they're set on it, don't you? Let's have a toast. The toast, the ride to be. <laughs> <laughs> well, you impetuous young things, I don't suppose you've uh, made any forward planning, have you? Well... Not really. Well, we did think that something like this was in the air, so, well, um, well, we've got a little something that we want to give you. Oh, Mummy, really? Think us impetuous, but, well, we, we have kept it for you specifically. <gasps> it's the one your mother and I used when we first... <laughs> this week's cause for concern comes to you from Carshalton. This is the busy A627, and just behind me here is an old people's home. This is Simon Bentley of Age Care. Simon, 
Just what is the cause for concern here? Uh, well, Julia, it's this Pelican crossing here uh, which allows a crossing time of just 4.7 seconds. Now, this means that the old folk from the home here really have to shift if they want to make it to the other side of the road. Now, as a result, there have been some terrible accidents. <laughs> uh, some of them, like that one, fatal. You see, it's an appalling situation. Just how many of the old people have been knocked down? Uh, well, about one in ten um, actually make it to the other side. Well, that old boy didn't, you see. And I'm afraid he's only too typical. You see, what we need from the authorities is decisive action. And all we've had so far is talk. I mean, I mean... Talk, uh, talk is very easy, isn't it? I understand you've lobbied the Minister of Transport. Yes, we have, uh, but so far... <laughs> so far, all we've, um, um, all we've had uh, are these additional road signs that they've erected. <laughs> this is Julia Soames on the A627, Carshalton. It's competition time now on Who Dares Wind, and it's a chance for one of our studio audience to win this tub of money. <laughs> and the, the competition this week is the Are You Uglier Than Leon Britton contest. <laughs> the answer to last week's quiz, what was our mystery object viewed from an unusual angle? Well, the correct answer was our mystery object was Oliver Reed. <laughs> the unusual angle was that he was standing up. <laughs> Will you welcome, please, Mr. Martin Jarvis. Marvellous audience. Good, aren't they? Very good, Terrific. indeed. Incredible. Martin. Yes. Two years at the National. This is true. That's right. Uh, the question we'd all like to ask you What's is... Have you just farted? <laughs> I, thought, I thought you had. <laughs> sorry. I'm sorry. I'm trying to interview a star and somebody has farted. I don't want to do that. <laughs> sorry, Martin. No, embarrassed. Embarrassed. It's all right. Yeah, my embarrassment. Oh, I'm no, sorry. No, my, well, my no sorry. No, no, no. Martin, yeah. so yeah. what are you working on at the moment? Well, I'm, I'm just finishing off a film in Paris oh, for the Americans. Oh, sorry. So, somebody is flicking paper at the back of my neck. <laughs> so, so, what, it's one of you lot, isn't it? It's one of you lot is flicking paper. Come on, which one is it? There's one of you, there's a group of you. I can't... I'm, he hasn't got, we haven't got long, all right? So just... Oh, sorry. It's you, you're the ringleader. Sorry. <laughs> come here. Come with me. Come with me. Come on. I'm sorry. <laughs> don't, please. No, don't encourage him. <laughs> Now listen, I'm trying to interview this man. Don't get him. Martin, don't. Okay. don't. Uh, please, come on, it's not very clever. <laughs> What's your name? Nigel. Have you ever been on television? Uh, no. Exactly. <laughs> don't worry. You just not a peep at me because I'm trying to interview um, Martin Jones. Oh, sorry, yes. <laughs> Martin Jones. Right. Sorry, Martin. Terribly rude of me. No, sorry. It's sorry. You're all right. No. Um, yeah. Do you want me to tell you about this film? Okay. Yeah. <laughs> sorry, I'm all about it. Yeah. Yes. Well, it's directed by a brilliant uh, Stop director. Stop, Martin. Sorry. Sorry, love. What? There's somebody scuffling their feet. Somebody <laughs> over here. Can we have everybody take their shoes off, please? <laughs> come on. Come on. Come on. Take shoes off. Every, everybody take their shoes off. Come on. And you, come on. No, it's not you, Martin. Oh, sorry. Sorry. <laughs> uh, sorry. No, no. Oh, hang on. On second thoughts, could you put them back on again? <laughs> worse than the fart. <laughs> I think that's what it was, actually. <laughs> Sorry, Martin. No, um, no. Now, what are you this talking about? Oh, yeah. Well, yes, it was the, the film that I've just finished, actually. Right, it's called The yes. Telephone Man, yes, if right. you're interested. Good. Yeah, no, tell right. us a bit about it. Well, it's about a man who starts a little business in, uh, in Paris, an Englishman. <laughs> <laughs> What's all this... Uh, sorry, it's, it's, sorry, Martin, it's a no, gnat no. or something. It's, it's being close to the river. They come in. Oh, I see. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, there it is. You can see it. There. Yes, I can. <laughs> there we go. Keep <laughs> <laughs> still. Yeah, look. Martin, 
Martin, brilliant. I mean, multi-talented, this boy. <laughs> Sorry, now about this film. You're in France, is it? You're filming? We've just finished, right. actually. But Sorry, I'm going to have to stop you there. We're running out of time. We have to go to the break. Ladies and gentlemen, Martin Jarvis! <laughs> Building Germany for the past three years, have we, sir? Oh, aye. Right. Don't suppose we've any little leather trousers or naughty videos in our matching luggage, have we, sir? Just a few intimate gifts and something for the wife. Couldn't take a peek, could we? <coughs> Think you're becoming a licensed victualler, are we, sir? Oh, it's brilliant, lager, that. The Germans swear by it. Just thought I'd bring a few cans home to jog my memory. Well. While you were over there, Hansa became very popular over here, too. Oh, aye. So we won't be needing this little lot, will we? Step this way, sir. You're pulling my leg. No, sir, I'm leading you by the arm. Hansa. A little drop of over there, over here. Another slice? Oh, yes, please. I must say, it's a lovely joint. Can't beat a leg of pork, can you? No. I got it from the new butcher in Middleton Road here. Oh, it's beautiful. Mm. How long have you roasted? A couple of hours? Oh, about two and a half. That's the thing with pork, isn't it? You've got to give it that extra half an hour. Otherwise, it comes out all bloody and rare. <laughs> what's, the, what's the matter? <laughs> oh, Christ. <laughs> Cover the joint. <laughs> What the hell does it want? How should I know? Oh, uh, hello. I'm awfully sorry to bother you, but I'm a little pig going to market and, uh... What's that smell? Oh, oh that's just uh, furniture polish. Really? <laughs> Smells my, like my girlfriend. Anyway, I'm off to market to be loitered. <laughs> Uh, I think that's the word. Loitered, yeah. Slaughtered. Oh, slaughtered, that's it. <laughs> Whatever that means. Uh, and I'm lost. I did ask your neighbours the way, but, but they wouldn't talk to me. I don't know why. Yes, they're a bit shy. Mm. The uh, Coens. <laughs> Uh, no, it's left and then second right. Oh, <laughs> all right. Oh, uh, enjoy your lunch and thanks. Bye! <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, I can't bear it. I'll pick some eggs. Please, anything. I feel so dirty, I feel so heartless. He loved his girl, you weak. A carcass. Oh, I'm not going to stick my fork into any more juicy pork. It's criminal eating animal. Oh, Mr. Piggy Wig, I'm so ashamed. It's criminal and it's cannibal. Bring me an eggy wag. An eggy wag feels no pain. Scrambled's fine. Oh. 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 My name's Dumpty. <laughs> yeah, Dumpty. Do you think you could call for an ambulance, please? Shit. Shit. And you join us as the Shit. Russian contestant, 14 stone Nikolai Sverdlov. <laughs> starts his last attempt. This burly Russian, this time attempting to say the word hitchhiker. 
a lot of confidence in the early part of the way. No, he's veering towards Hedge. I'm afraid Hedgehiker just won't do at this level. No, I don't think he's going to make it. I don't... Oh dear, he said Hedgehog. <laughs> what a shame. Now it's the turn of the British Hope plucky young Terry Rigby. His word is canal. What a body. Have you seen them? Hey, have you seen stand-up comedians out there? Funny lot, they? Aren't they a funny lot, they? Hey, 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 hey. Have you heard? Come here, come here, come here. Lovely audience. Shut that door, please yourselves. Nice to see you, to see you. Nice. Hey, come here, come here, come here, come here. Come here. Have you, have you heard, have you heard, have you heard the one about? Have you heard the one about the Englishman, the Irishman, the Scotsman, a little Jewish fella? Have you heard that one? Have you? Have you? Hey, have you? Have you? Hey, 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 hey. <laughs> I have, hey, boom, boom. <laughs> it's the way I tell him, isn't it? Hey, it's a cracker, it's a cracker, that one, hey. Come here, come here, come here, come here, come here. Come here, come here, come here. Hey, shut that door, shut that door, hey. Read yourselves, I see you. See a nice, lovely audience. Come here, have you seen my wife? My wife, my wife is so fat. She's so fat, I think she's got a malfunction of the pituitary gland. Hey, boom, boom. Hey, that's a cracker, isn't it? It's the way I tell him. It's the way I tell him, isn't it? With me is one of the country's leading historians and a regular contributor to The Observer, Dr. Ralph Easterling. Hello. <laughs> and he's with us here tonight to discuss one of the fascinating claims made in his new book, Was Hitler Welsh? <laughs> <laughs> well, Dr. Easterling, was Hitler Welsh? No. Come here, come here, come here, come here, come here. Come here, come here, come here, come here, come here. Hey, raise yourself, shut that door. Lovely audience, lovely audience. Have you seen my, have you seen my wife? Have you seen my wife? Have you seen, have you seen my wife? Hey, 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 hey. Have you, have you, have you, have you, have you? Hey, hey. I haven't. <laughs> Not since you ran off with me, agent, you see. Boom, boom. <laughs> it's the way I tell them, isn't it? But here's the funny thing. Come here, come here, come here. Here's the funny thing. We're getting a divorce. Hey, boom, boom. But this is the killer. This is the killer. This is the killer. There's children involved, hey, boom, boom, hey, it's the way I tell them, come here, come here, come here, come here, come here, come here, pubs, pubs, missus, pubs, pubs, you've been to pubs, 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 big building, sell beer for profit, pubs, that's right, pubs, I went to a pub the other day, I did, I did, I did, I went to the pub the other day, I nearly died, I did, I nearly died, I did, 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 I nearly died, I did, I nearly died, I nearly died, I nearly died, I did, Someone stabbed me in the throat. Well, <laughs> well, they had two misses. They had two. I was attacking them with a the pickaxe, you see. I've gone slightly mad since the wife left. Bubble. Hey, come here, come here, come here. Shut that door, please yourselves. Nice to see you. See you. Nice. Hey, lovely audience, lovely audience, lovely audience. Come here, come here, come here, come here, come here. I must go now, I must go now, I must go now. The problem with television, right, is that it's run by middle class moronic twats of the Nouveau Chinley School of Master Surf Philosophy who run TV from a restaurant in Chelsea with the sole object of keeping the working class, or non-working classes after five years of touring, kneecapping it now is, apathetic and morally castrated, which is why you are oppressed by millions of hours a week of frigging snooker, which is, of course, the ultimate capitalist, imperialist, allegorical propaganda. Isn't it? Well, you only have to consider the rules for a moment, don't you? First of all, you knock off all the reds one by one, then you round up the poor coloured bastards, and eventually there's only the white left on the table. I mean, what are you, blind or just stupid? My deepest condolences, Jean. I'd just like to say how sorry I was to hear about your husband. Thank you. Tell me, before he died, uh, did he mention my Procol Harum album? <laughs> Tragedy. Jean. <laughs> <laughs> did, did Ralph say anything before he... Uh, yes, yes. Uh, his last words were... Don't tell me how to change a plug. <laughs> He was a great man. He was. He, was. he was like a brother to me, you know. Me too. 
He was the same age as me. <laughs> we had lots in common. But the same school. He had the same chest size as me. We went out with the same girls, for God's sake. And the same collar size, come to think of it, 16 and a half. Come on! Why are we all looking so down in the mouth, eh? He had a good innings. You know, like both of them. Quick 30 then out, eh? <laughs> <laughs> Where do you think he is? He's up there now. On the mantelpiece. <laughs> oh, um, I'd just like to thank you for everything you've done today and please pass on my thanks to your men. Um, yes, thank you. For whom the toll bells. Thanks very much. Thanks. Yeah, that's a nice painting. Do you think it's original? First Kennedy, then Lennon, now Ralph. <laughs> Come on! Ralph wouldn't want to see all these long faces, would he? Now, I've got a great idea. Let's all play charades. Now, I'll start, OK? Uh, what's this? Film. Film. Three words. Three words. First word. Three words. Ralph! <laughs> Dead. Uh, death. Third word. Oh, um, death in Venice. Excuse me. <laughs> I'll make some tea. I'll make some tea. Um, no, you're... Um, thank you. <laughs> you wouldn't catch me being cremated. It's not right. Probably not his ashes in there. They wait till they've got a full load and then burn them. He's probably all mixed up with Pakistanis and dead sparrows. Mind your back, Excuse me. Jean, I know this isn't the right time, but was he in great pain at the... Oh, no. No. He went out like a light. <laughs> well, with the lights, actually. And the television, fridge, the video. Must have been awful. It was. I was recording chariots of fire at the oh. time. <laughs> Excuse me. Excuse me. Tea up. The sun has got his hat on. Hip, 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 hooray. Come on, girls, cheer up. Ralph was never gloomy, was he? I mean, he was a real... Live wire. <laughs> Get it? <laughs> Live wire. <laughs> I thought the service was a bit informal. I didn't like the final blessing. What was it the vicar said? See you later, alligator. <laughs> It's not right. <laughs> there were things I should have told him, you know. I mean, I should have told him I respected him. I should have told him I loved him. Yeah. I should have told him that brown is live and blue is neutral, you know. <laughs> You're right. You've got enough food and drink. <laughs> I blame Jewel in the Crown. <laughs> Another cremation. It's not right. <coughs> no, you hold it. Um, look, I'm, I'm, I'm really sorry, but I, I haven't actually heard anything you're saying. Uh, <laughs> I'm sorry, I said, uh, now that your husband's dead, mm. would you mind coming round the back for a quick fuck? <laughs> I mean, I can almost feel that he's here, you know. He is I can, here. I can almost sense his, sense his presence in a funny way, you know. Yeah. Hmm. It's very distinctive tea. Is it Earl Grey? I don't know. I got it out of this caddy. <laughs> Well, I will say this for Ralph. He always made a lovely cup of tea. <laughs> 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 <laughs>